So why gospel music? Why not just a sermon? Or for that matter, why doesn't listening to a lawnmower make us feel good? The obvious answer is because of the connection with the spiritual and the divine. But then you have all of those non-religious, non-spiritual people who are addicted to gospel music. Why? How can music be such an important tool for getting a race of people through generations of slavery, Jim Crow, and even modern day racism? Music has been used for thousands of years as a means of emotional expression. Here, music is used to express what is otherwise inexpressible. The behavioral perspective section indicates that music can prime listeners by making them predisposed through associations to feel positive or negative emotions. Like fear, the underlying hope that someday we will be saved from our misery. <laughs> but music emanates from an alarm clock and it also fills our cars and gives us chills, promotes laughter, and makes us cry. According to recent research from the University of London and the University of Pretoria in South Africa, music even affects how we see visual images. Think about the last movie you enjoyed. <laughs> how would no music or underscoring affect the experience? In an experiment, 30 subjects were presented with a series of happy or sad musical excerpts. After listening to the snippets, the subjects were shown a photograph of a face. Some people were shown a happy face. The person was smiling while others were exposed to a sad or neutral facial expression. The participants were then asked to rate the emotional content of the face on a seven point scale, where one means extremely sad and seven extremely happy. The researchers found that music powerfully influenced the emotional ratings of the faces. Happy music made happy faces seem even happier, while sad music exaggerated the melancholy of the frown. A similar effect was also observed with neutral faces. The simple moral is that emotions of music are cross model and can easily spread from sensory system to another. And a child conjures up memories of family, community, safety based on the faces of those around while music is present. In the midst of great suffering and oppression, this might include memories of happier times, home, love, and hope for a time when all that was wronged may be righted. With all due respect to spiritual influences and realities, in chapter two, we will explore some of the science behind music and why it so inspires us why it was and is such a significant part of African-American culture and history.